Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels. Today is April the 27th of 2023 and I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord today. In this word today, the Lord is continuing to speak of the change he is making in his people of his plan to raise them up in this day, to be victorious. He is dealing with the enemy of our lives and bringing us through to be his overcoming church. I hope this word blesses you today. It is titled, I am pulling down the hierarchy of the enemy. I will begin by reading scripture. Matthew 16, verse 18. And I tell you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not overcome it. These are words Jesus spoke to Peter based on his profession that Jesus was the Christ. This revelation is what his church is built upon. Philippians 1 verse 6 Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. This scripture reference tells us once again that the Lord is doing a work in his people that the work he began, he will bring it to completion. I'll begin the word. Run, run with my spirit, for it is moving swiftly over the earth, and the wrath of God is being poured out upon injustices done to my people, says the Lord. I am standing against principalities of darkness, I am trampling the accuser of the brethren under my feet. I am acknowledging my name in the earth today. All flesh shall see God, and soon the veil is to be taken away, and the people shall see me in their midst. Their sight will be given to them, and they shall see with their eyes, and they will hear with their ears, and they shall understand." I am unstopping the ears, and the deaf are beginning to hear my voice. I am stretching out my rod across the waters, and the people are able to cross over on dry ground. They are able to move unhindered through the territory that once belonged to the enemy, and they are taking ground. They are being established into a building built by God, a habitat of his dwelling. Their lives are being made new. The old has passed away, and the new has come. Come reason together with me. I am the author and the finisher of your faith. The work I have begun in you is being brought to completion, and you shall shine with the glory of the Lord. I am with you. I am taking you out and on. You will go forth in grace and great ability to do the works I have called you to, says the Lord. You will be in awe at the works I do through you. Do not fear those who would want to stop you, for I am about to knock down their facades and expose every bit of iniquity." Those who have opposed my elect are being brought to their knees. You will see it in your midst. You will see those who have exalted themselves and raised themselves up against the arm of God, apprehended and brought down. There is no turning back. I am taking my elect on. No one and nothing is able to hinder them. They shall go forth in full force to storm the gates of hell and to take the keys out of the hands of the ungodly and to transfer them 
into the hands of the ones I have chosen. I have taken them out of the hands of those who have not done the will of the Father, but have functioned in the flesh to hold on to position and authority. No longer will they lord it over my elect. No longer will they trample my chosen ones underfoot. I have taken back ownership and released the vineyard out of the hands of the greedy and idolatrous. I am moving quickly to pull down the hierarchy of the enemy. I am pulling out the foundation, and the whole structure shall come crashing down. Hold fast to what I have shown you and spoken to you, for you will see these things come to pass. You will see the arm of the Lord move forth to tear down the high places. I am sending my servants out into the places I have ordained for them to go. I have anointed them and released them to go forth. Do not fear the attempts of those to sidetrack you, to throw you off the path I have ordained for you. What has been stolen from you is about to be released back to you. You will be blessed and sent forth, says the Lord. In this word today, the Lord is encouraging us that the work he has begun in us He is bringing it to completion. And what that completion looks like is his church moving forward in his power and anointing, taking ground from the enemy and being established in the building that God is building without hands. The Lord is encouraging us that he is taking us forward and nothing will be able to trip us up. Those who have opposed us will be defeated. Even those who were put in charge of the vineyard and yet failed to bring in the harvest and the fruit of the harvest, the Lord is taking the keys out of their hands, taking ownership of the vineyard out of their hands and transferring it into the hands of of those who will be faithful to him. We may not have a full understanding of what that entails, but we can be aware that there are things going on, even in the Church of Jesus Christ, that are an abomination to the Lord. In this day, the Lord is raising up those who truly belong to him, who have been transformed by the power of his Spirit and made new. The Lord is promising us that he is releasing back to us all that has been stolen from us because the Lord is building his church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. I hope this short word today will bless and encourage you who are listening. Be encouraged in the Lord today. Thank you for listening. Have a great afternoon. And we'll talk to you again in the next video. Love and blessings. Bye for now.